I wonder. Hi, I'm Jacob from The Shed Productions, and you're probably curious as to why I just put a fork in the microwave. Well, I could definitely and assuredly tell you that I did not put a fork in the microwave. I put a cup of water in the microwave. But what would happen if I kept that fork in the microwave? Let's explore that a little bit further, shall we? Hi, welcome to my studio, aka my bedroom. This is not the shed. I wish it was the shed. I wish I could have this studio set up out in the shed. Very much so, but the shed is outside, and I am inside where it is safe. And I am also inside where there are no bugs. But anyways, I'd like to get on with the video about... What if we kept the fork in the microwave? So let's begin! So, we have here, um... Just a blank canvas, right? So, we could get ourselves, you know, just a quick little microwave. Okay, so here's a little AI-generated microwave, thanks to the help of Adobe. Uh, it could be any one of these. Let's just go with the uh, first one here, right? Okay, so, let's generate ourselves a fork. Let's generate ourselves a... Well, we don't need a fork. We can draw ourselves a fork. So, fork. Okay, so... Why can't we have this in the microwave? Well, it's because of a little object called the magnetron. This magnetron is... This magnetron is a, um... It's a device used in the microwave to actually produce the microwave radiation signals. That actually vibrates the water in your food to cook your food. Because if you vibrate molecules they will heat up and expand like that's that's it that's what microwaves do that's pretty much it and um basically yeah essentially that's why also when you don't have anything inside of the microwave all those waves can and will bounce around causing the air to heat up so much that it causes the fourth element of matter called plasma, which is a gas. It's it has it's the properties of a gas, except that it's not a gas. It is a separation of electrons and protons and neurons from each other as a super, 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 super hot object. That's what it's called plasma. So I'll show you here. We have our fork. A very good, very well drawn out fork. And if we take this fork and we put it inside the microwave, why will that, what will happen? Well, we will definitely for sure get a bunch, and I mean a bunch of, you know, like, we'll get a bunch of, pl of that plasma stuff I was talking about. We get a bunch of that plasma, and that plasma is not good, because it's very dangerous, and it is also very harmful. So, as you can see here, my excellent drawing skills have shown what plasma would look like on the fork. This plasma is created because the metal will get hot, because it is being absorbed by the mic- It's the only thing that can possibly absorb the microwave radiation besides the outer walls. Now, these microwaves, if you had something like a glass of water in there, I don't know, let's draw that. So, we had a glass of water, right? That, that would be fine, because you're vibrating the water molecules. However, you may have also heard stuff like a little ant not being able to uh, uh, fit in there. That's because the little ant is tiny, and thus... And thus, it can't be picked up by the microwaves, which are much big, which are, uh, 
much bigger than the ant. And that is also poorly represented there. It has to be the object has to be bigger than the amp than the the, the top and the bottom of a uh, the microwave itself, the actual wave, for it to work properly, right? So that's why like an ant wouldn't work. But why the fork? Well, it's bigger than that than that wave. Uh, it's a fork compared to an ant. Of course, it's bigger the fork. I think that was pretty obvious. But anyways, let's get back to this. Or um. What? But you're probably wondering, what am I getting at? And to be honest, I don't know. I didn't think this far ahead. Let's keep talking about how this is going to work, right? Uh, if we have the microwaves. But yeah, that is why you shouldn't put a fork in the microwave because it would create plasma and it would also kill your microwave, no doubt. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Bye.